Good afternoon and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jane Caffrey. We begin with tragedy in Meriden last night. A six-year-old boy was killed when police say he crashed a go-kart he was driving. It happened in the parking lot of a park in Meriden and that's where NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts is live. She spoke to people who saw that scene last night. Amanda. Yeah, hey, Jane, that go-kart crashed into the gate behind me. On it were six- and four-year-old brothers. Witnesses say the six-year-old was going fast through this parking lot, and his family tried to stop him, but it was too late. But a little teddy bear, just a little something to get it started. A small memorial from a total stranger for the family whose night of fun at Cronenberger Park in Meriden Tuesday night ended in tragedy. Make sure the family knows that the whole community is like really concerned and, you know, out there for them and their family. Meriden police say two boys, six and four years old, were riding this go-kart in the park's parking lot around 745 when they collided with and went under this closed swing gate. A witness told us the six-year-old was going fast and the family family attempted to stop him. Police say he was wearing a helmet but suffered a traumatic injury. He was pronounced dead at Midstate Medical Center. Go out enjoying the day, whatever they were doing, and then to end with such a tragedy is just, you know, my son is 29 and still wanted to go and give him a hug. You know, it was just the, I can't imagine, you know, those poor parents, you know, what they must be going through now. Heather O'Brien walks her dogs here every day and said the gate isn't always closed. We used to walk through there. So now, like, that's recent that I think that it's been closed, you know, and locked because now I have to park and walk around. After the crash, police could be seen with flashlights around the gate and around the go-kart as the investigation continues. But the little ones, you know, that tugs at your heartstrings, you know, as well. The young, the innocent, just out enjoying a little ride. Now, that four-year-old was taken to Connecticut Children's for medical evaluation, but we're told that he is going to be okay. As for the family, we're told they are doing the best they can right now. Live in Meriden, Amanda Pitts, NBC Connecticut News. Jane.